Yo! Welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ with NBF Kennel, man. I'm out here with the pups today. What up, Juicy Juicy? What up, Juicy Juicy? Hey, big guy, Juicy. But Zeus so big, y'all. Oh, my God, bro. Y'all don't even understand how big this dude is. Hey, Nyla. So, Nyla pregnant, y'all. She's still out here doing this. Look, yeah. Pregnant. Pregnant. Hey, Juicy. Hey. Hey, Juicy. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh. Pushing me back. No, I don't feel like that, Nyla. No, no, no. No, Nyla. No, no, no. I will chase me around with that thing for me to grab it. You pregnant, we're not gonna do all that. But yeah, man, this, this breeding shit, y'all, I'm just being real with y'all, man. If you don't love these dogs, I'm too mad. You have to really love these dogs, bro, to do this shit. Cause I'm telling you, you're gonna spend all your motherfucking money taking care of them. Don't think this breeding shit just, you're gonna jump in and I'm just a bunch of money, so it's, it's a quick hustle. I ain't shit quick about this shit, man. This ain't no quick hustle sport, bro. This ain't no, uh, -uh get in, get out. Nah, bro, you gotta take care of these dogs forever, bro. All right, these dogs don't live a year or two or three years. Nah, these motherfuckers live seven, eight, nine, ten plus years. This shit real. This ain't no shit you jump into. So if you don't plan on taking care of these motherfucking dogs to death, don't jump into it, bro. Don't jump into it, bro. This ain't no shit you need to be jumping into, bro. This shit is a to death thing, bro. And so when they have a kid, that's another seven plus years added. So that's seven more years you're gonna be doing it. So if that kid have a kid, that's seven, I'm just giving you a, a fucking time frame. That's seven more years. This is this is a this a life lifetime business, man. This ain't no shit you jump into and you gonna get out whenever you, no, nah, man. This is shit you gotta do every single day, bro. I can't go a day without feeding these dogs. For real, for I mean, I can go day, one day without feeding them, but I can't go, you know what I'm saying, days without feeding them. I can't go a day without giving them water. Not one day without giving them water. This ain't no shit. I can just, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it this year. 2022, I'm going to be a breeder. And then when 2023 come around, I'm just going to fall back. Hell no. When 2025 come around, I'm still going to have Zeus. I'm still going to have Roxy. I'm still going to have Navy. And I'm going to have all the offsprings. When 2030 come around, Navy probably be dead. But I have probably one of his sons or daughters. You know what I'm saying? This shit is real, though. Like, this this ain't no shit you just jump into, man. So whatever it takes to keep these dogs alive and make sure they're healthy on, during their lifetime, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, no matter what it costs. Because this is this is a lifetime commitment. I made a commitment to these dogs for the, for the rest of their life. That's why I bought them. Then this shit ain't cheap, bro. I run through a 40-pound bag of dog food in three to four days. 40 pound bag of dog food in three, four days. And that costs $50. $50 in three, four days. So that's over $100 a week. $100 a week on dog food. It's not even including the puppies. They're just the big dogs. $100 a week on them. Nyla. Nyla. Come out. Foot got stuck. Girl, get out. You know it ain't your okay. cage. Yeah, man. So, like I said, if you going if you really, if you really, 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 really want to get into this, the dog shit, get one dog, live with it for years. Just get used to that dog. Get used to the breed. Get used to the, to, to doing whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? Get used to emergency vet visits. Get used to if dogs go to pounds, having to pay money, get dogs out of pounds. Just get used to whatever it takes to take care of one dog. That's what I did, y'all. That's what I did. That's why I'm able to, to build this and buy this and do these things and really invest into the litter because I took my time. I bought Navy back in 2019. Here we go, 2022 is my first litter and it's still not Navy's. I had a love for the breed. I bought, I bought Navy for me personally. He was like, I bought him as my best friend. Y'all, A lot of y'all don't know this, but Navy used to go to work with me. In the morning time, when it's time to get up, he go outside, take him outside, use the bathroom, all that. Well, I'm, 
I bring him back in. I'm brushing my teeth. He right, he right there by the door waiting. When it's time to go to work, Navy went to work with me. Yeah, I had a um, I was a manager over a, a fucking logistics company, and I was the manager of the warehouse. And you can bring your dogs to work because I'm over the shit, and nobody worked under me. It was just me over the whole thing. So Navy used to go to work with me. So during my lunch break, I used to be out there with him, throwing the ball and taking him for a little walks and shit. Like that's Navy was, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't Bree wasn't even a thing. Like that wasn't even a thing, bro. Until 2022, uh, to, uh, until 2020. I bought another dog, what, a year and a half, two years after that? Year 19. Navy was born in 2018. I got him in 2019. And I didn't get these, these dogs to a year and a half after that. I didn't buy another dog to a year and a half after that. Almost two years. So imagine my dog being... Look, Navy 4, y'all. Navy 4, 2022. Navy is 4 years old. He'll be 5 this year. These years go by fast than a motherfucker, bro. These years go by fast than a motherfucker, bro. He born in December 2018. These years go by fast, bro. Too fast. I tell y'all, man, this ain't no, this ain't some, this ain't some hobby shit, man. Make sure you go to dogs, and you can tell the people that go to dogs, bro. You can tell the people that go to dogs. It's so easy. I be on YouTube. I watch a couple of little, little British videos and shit, and I just be like, dude, no, he can't. He, he know, he he know he can't afford them dogs. You know what I'm saying, like. At some point, you got to be a risk, a realistic, y'all. Um, a lot of y'all can't afford dogs, bro. And that just, that's just what it is. And I'm not saying you can't afford one dog, because one dog is cool, but you can't afford a camp. You know what I'm saying? If you if you barely getting by with life and taking care of your kids and whatever the case may be, if you live in paycheck to paycheck, this ain't no type of shit you just go buy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get one dog, man. Don't try to do. Don't try to turn this shit into no business. I'll rip. You gotta learn the dog, learn the breed. Fucking have some money set aside. Have, have a job. This shit. This shit. These dogs ain't ain't paid for none of this shit. All the, all this shit, bro. Them dog houses two hundred dollars a piece. Every dog house two hundred dollars a piece. Two, four, six, eight, a thousand. That's a thousand dollars just on dog houses. Each kennel is four hundred and fifty dollars a piece. It's four of them. See the pounds over there. It's four of them. The roofs two hundred dollars. Side things, the fucking little fucking whatever you fucking weak ass shit is. That's nothing, bro. You see the little side shit? Money. It's not free. I got the concrete poured. A thousand dollars. These dogs. I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for them, but just know it's a lot of money. A lot of money for every dog that you see is a lot of money. None of, none of that shit was cheap, bro. And this not have, this has nothing to do with vet visits. It has nothing to do with ear crops. This has nothing to do with time that you have to take on walks and to the parks and everything else. Make make sure that they feel loved so they don't fucking feel be aggressive towards you or anything like that. This shit takes a lot of time. Um, another thing, food, medicine, antibiotics. The shit ain't no this ain't no shit you just if you don't got the money, man, take your time, bro. Take your time and make sure you keep a job. This ain't no shit you, once you once you get a dog or once you get a litter or some shit like that, you, oh, yeah, I'm finna sit back and start working. No, bro, the work just started. You still gotta sit, you still gotta feed the puppies. You still gotta take them to get their shots. You still gotta do warm them. You still gotta make sure they got water. All this shit takes time and money. This ain't no shit you just jump into. This is not the game for that. It's not no quick flip shit. And I'm seeing a lot of people on YouTube think this some just some trendy ass shit to become a breeder. And listen, man, you need to chill the fuck out. Take your time. Get one dog, man. Learn the dog. Learn how to take care of a dog. Just one. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I seen a lot of posts was like one dude, like one dude on this motherfucking YouTube thing. One of his dogs was, you know what I'm saying, ended up dying. He said the vet killed his dog. 
She had to vet kill this dog because they told him that she was prolapsing or some shit like that, that they have to do a C-section. And if they did the C-section, um, they was going to spay her. If your dog having a prolapse or if your dog is past due on puppies and she can't fucking do her, fucking have her puppies naturally, then they, they going to spay the dog. It's only right that you get a dog fixed if she's having trouble carrying puppies. If she's having if a dog is having trouble carrying puppies, you should get her fixed. You should never breed her again. That shouldn't even be a thing. She's suffering. A dog is suffering. If she's if she's having a problem having puppies, that means she's suffering. That means never breed her again. So you get her fixed. That's all real. And the easiest way to build a relationship with the veterinarian is by taking your dog to the vet. You would, There's no veterinarian in the world that would try to do anything to kill your dog if you have a relationship with the vet. And the, how you build a relationship with the vet is by taking your dog to the fucking vet. Because the vet see, yeah, he always brings his dogs in for checkups. Or when something's going on, he always brings his dog in. That's money being spent. They fuck with you. I mean, you fuck with them, they fuck with you. That's how it go. That's business. That ain't got shit to do with no color. None of that shit. That's real business. That's real business. That's real business. I have a... I, listen, so if something go wrong with my dogs, I call one person, bro. I call one veterinarian, bro. Um, Elliot, just... Uh, Mr. Johnson? Yeah, uh huh Yeah, which one is it? Zeus? Huh. Yeah. All my dog. This is Zeus Johnson. It's Nyla Johnson. It's Roxy Johnson, Navy Johnson, Chloe Johnson. There's no motherfucking, what dog is it? Um, Is it this, is that? No, everything is fucking records. All my dogs have records. They have shot records. They have the woman records. They have fucking stool shit records. Everything is being rec recorded. That's why when I take my dog to the vet to do AIs and whatever the case may be, they understand that I'm serious about what the fuck I got going on. So this what this is the... This is a term backyard breeder. Backyard breeder is is a person that has dogs and breed them in the backyard and never take them to the vet. They're not papered and they're just not up to date on shots. They're not up to date. They don't get dewormed every month. You have to deworm your dogs, even your, your adult puppies, once a month. It's not no shit. You just warm them one time. Oh, man, they poop look good. Oh, fuck it. Oh, three, four months later. Oh, yeah, poop look good. Oh, fuck it. No. No, they need to be dewormed every month. It's it's simple though. It's not it's not hard. It's not expensive. It's just some shit you do when you care about your dogs. There's some shit you know to do if you care about your fucking animals. You have to make sure that health is top tier. You have to make sure that you're taking the 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 immediate amount of time, great amount of time to spend with each individual dog. Listen, man. Um. I started to say this, man. Take your time. I don't want to bash anyone. Everything in life is a fucking lesson. And, like, I've had to learn lessons the hard way. And a lot of y'all see on my channel that I've learned a lot of my lessons the hard way. And I'm not, I don't mind it because everything that I've done in my life has built me to be the person I am and has built a lot of character. So whenever I learn something, I got to come back and tell y'all that. That's why people that subscribe to my channel know that they watch my videos because they know they're going to learn something. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to see dogs grow up every dog you see in my yard i got at eight weeks every dog you see in my yard i got at eight weeks i paid full for i paid full amount for all my dogs and i picked them up at eight weeks this ain't no shit i ain't just go get no adult from this person i ain't gonna no i raised all these dogs from eight fucking weeks i've been feeding these dogs since they were puppies every dog you see in my garage them were puppies imagine a person picking up a puppy right now and keeping it taking care of it forever Feeding it, water, boom, exercise, vet business. There's videos of me taking my dog to the vet, getting shots, getting everything. This is some real shit, bro. Me dewarming my dogs every week. Just a little, with a little powder, just throwing a little powder on their food and shit. This is some shit that you have to do, man. This is all a part of it. This ain't no quick hustle shit. Stop trying to do quick hustle shit. Every time you try to do some quick hustle shit and your heart not in it, man, the world, the universe will fucking humble you. We'll humble you. Nyla. That's why whenever I tell my dogs going to fucking cave, they understand, okay, this nigga serious. Like, this ain't no joke shit. This ain't no uh-uh-uh. Nyla, let's go. Let's go.
go. And that's respect, bro. That ain't nothing. I don't have to beat my dog. I've never whooped their ass for real. Unless they was fighting. Good job. Like, I don't have to do much, bro, because it's respect. Fucking respect in the yard, bro. If your dogs respect you, bro, this shit is easy. And no, you didn't see none of my fucking dogs. When I told them to do something, they put their head down like, oh, shit, if I don't do this, I'm going to get my ass in. No, they like, okay. I told them to do something. All right, let me go. Yeah, nigga, like, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. They don't have to threaten their dogs. They don't think they're getting their, they going to get their fucking head smacked when I'm going for their head. None of them think that if I were to do this at their head, they'd be looking like, okay, what the fuck is that? They'd be like this. They ain't going to be, or pissing it. Nah, that shit, bro. Love the dogs, man. Love, love what the fuck you got going on, man. And I just want to say this. Um, if, you not, if you don't love what you do, the world will take it from you. And that's just kind of what it is, man. Whatever you're doing, if you're not being genuine with that shit, you're going to lose it.